In the following video, we're going to talk about and demonstrate insulin injection techniques for all people with type 1 diabetes and some people with type 2 and gestational diabetes, regular self-administration of insulin is required. For some patients, this can initially seem daunting, so it is very important to be put those fears to rest early by learning the correct methods of administering insulin and talking through any other concerns you might have. To ensure the insulin is absorbed at a steady rate, it should be injected into the subcutaneous fat, which is the fatty layer between the skin and the muscle. Most people use a four to six millimeter needle, but it must be directly into the skin and not through your clothes. This might seem confronting to start with, but it really is easy with minimal discomfort. The usual site for injecting insulin is the abdomen or the area between the waist and the hip bone. Other areas of the body that can be used are the thigh and upper arms. It's best to use a different spot on the skin each time to aid in quick absorption and avoid developing lumps. It's also best to keep the long-acting insulin on opposite sides of your body to the short-acting to avoid mixing of the insulins. These steps should become habit, however. Try to always keep a mental checklist each time you inject your insulin to ensure it has the optimal effect. Check the insulin looks right and is in deep. If you're using an intermediate or mixed insulin that's meant to look cloudy, gently mix it before you inject. This should be injected five to 15 minutes before a meal. Apply a new needle each time Prime it with two units and squirt it into the air to ensure it's working. Dial up the dose you want to give and select a new place on your skin. Ensure the needle is at 90 degrees to the skin. Press down on the top of the pen directly and don't twist or dial it. Once you've injected the insulin, hold the needle in place for the count of 10 seconds. And finally, when you've removed the needle from your skin, dispose of it in a sharps container. If you're using a long-acting insulin or basal insulin, try to administer around the same time each day. It can vary by up to an hour without problems, but a regular schedule is the best approach. Short-acting insulin is taken directly before a meal. When you first start using mealtime insulin, you may be on a set dose of insulin, as advised by your doctor or educator. As you become more familiar with your diet and effects of exercise, you can learn how to adjust your dose of short-acting insulin. If you are ever feeling unsure or have any concerns, there is a lot of support available, including your diabetes team, medical practitioner, and online.